Diego, business ideas for you and Bad Boy to make some money. One, contact Boogaloo and, uh, you know, have him tell you, yes, in fact, it was me, you know, the inspiration, yada, yada, for the Bad Boy, knocking five guys out. Or contact uh, my friends that were witnesses. I believe Pete Carroll, he's in the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, Jim McCranz was there, I believe. He's in San Diego and uh, married to Monica. And uh, you know what? Number three, I'm not really sure. Maybe Tim Bybee. Uh, you know what? But think about it. I mean, do I look like him? And uh, it doesn't take fucking a rocket scientist to figure it out. Now, you know what? Uh, that would generate a lot of electricity, a lot of energy, okay? Excitement. People starting to scratch their heads going, oh, my God, it really is him? What's going on here, okay? Maybe you should pay attention to Stevia, especially since Diego says it acts like the cure. And especially since uh, Allie, his girlfriend, had something growing in her breast, disappear in 14 days, and had been there for a year and a half. And you know what? Uh, that will become a common story throughout the United States and throughout the world as soon as people get off their beep asses, okay, and uh, help start the stevia stampede. I have cold vision, uh, which is supposedly a mythical energy source that will go on and on forever. Now, for the idiots out there uh, that don't know it, Water powers Earth right now. It's in everybody's gas tank, the hydrogen from water, and they just bonded petroleum so they could spark it and explode it into power. That's internal combustion. We're burning our water up as we go. All right? No shit. Uh, you know, it, uh, atomic uh, fuel, uh, atomic electricity, nuclear reactors. Uh, you know what? I heard a Ph.D. who is very much smarter than you idiots, all right, say on the radio the other night that it was an expensive way to boil water into electricity. All right? No shit. Now, the ideas I had for making money, uh, Diego, was perhaps you and Bad Boy coming out with a cool jacket that only fighters can wear. All right? Cool, man. Not overly expensive. Maybe a hundred bucks. And uh, you know what? Fifty goes to you guys. Uh, Fifty goes to a charity to feed the homeless and the hungry. And what that jacket does, it tells other people out there, you know what? This guy's no one to fuck around with. Not because he's bad. Okay, and because he practices how to fight day in and day out, okay, at the gym, because he don't want to, because he gets enough of it in the gym that on the street, you know what, it's boring, all right, and you know, that jacket coupled with two hands up, okay, in a defensive posture, all right, taking one step back, okay, maybe two, you know, just to get fucking your feet set to launch, and saying, you know what, I don't want any, okay, has you covered in a court of law, all right, if the assailant in front of you, the soon-to-be knockout victim, uh, actually doesn't pull a gun, but tries to use his fist, all right, and you're covered, you know what, uh, you said you didn't want to fight, you don't have to tuck and turn tail, you can actually lay waste, okay, uh, you know, within reason, and you know what, uh, it's been told to me by many more than one judge, and know this, everybody that thinks that I abuse women, my God, my ex, uh, she was mad at me, and you know what? She tried to get me in trouble. And she did. And she could because the cops don't like me. And so she said I tried to kill her. Didn't have a mark on her. And you know what? Yada, yada, yada. The thing at Notre Dame? Oh, my God. That was a lost opportunity, dumbasses. I could have been a millionaire when I was 20. All right? All my beep had to do was maybe fund another $20,000 because Notre Dame's attorneys had advised their client Notre Dame to settle. They had looked at the evidence and said, oh, my God. And Firth, you kicked him out for this shit? I'll tell you what, beep, uh, if we pay out, pack your bags, you're gone. I bet you they said that. And I bet you it goes like this. I just talked with uh, some guys at Costco waiting for some chicken to come off the line. And I was shooting the shit, asked them if they like football. They're like, hell yeah, man, we're going to watch the game right now. And I said, question, what are the chances that an outside linebacker going to snag a tailback Jumping over center for a touchdown, diving over the middle for a score. What's the chances? And they're like, not very high, man. And I said, what color would he be? And they're like, please, black. And I said, damn, you know what? Port Warrior 41, all right? Got to look through it. And it's evidence, okay, that, yeah, I was there. And, oh, my God, think about it. If things hadn't gone the way they did, it's almost like I'd been under a curse. No shit. So, Diego Sanchez... You're a great, great white shark, homeboy, for real. Uh, biting that baited hook out there for stevia, and now 
that I've landed you, metaphorically, okay? Your body knows it. Your girls knows it. People are starting to spread. And you know what? The talk is going to start. And as soon as somebody in an academic setting, a professor, a scientist, someone, blends stevia in water and sees water turn into a natural gas, just like that, okay, going to be a big one. When they see it cycle back to H2O underneath soap, okay, it might take a little while, but, you know, I've already laid the groundwork, okay? It's out there. I have it. That supposedly mythical energy source, well, you know what? It's water, and we don't have to burn it up anymore as we go. And if you don't think that water has power, look to two cities in Japan during World War II that were flattened, and if you boil a pan with no water, get it red hot, okay, and put your face right underneath it, I wouldn't advise it. Because what it will do, it will explode. When water is poured, oh my God, it will melt your skin and make you look deformed. Okay? No shit. That's how much power water has. And you idiots out there talking shit like, I don't know what's going on. I've got it, motherfuckers. I had a vision 20 years ago. Okay? And when I saw water burst apart, blow the top of my blender off so it hit the ceiling. And this white shit went all over the sink. And I thought, oh my God. And then it kind of, one, two, three, four, about five, six, boom. It went back to water, morphed magically. I thought, holy shit, I have just seen water turn into a gas and come back. Oh, my God. Magic, motherfuckers. I found it.